This is Ride News Now. I'm Allison Haslip. Here's the latest in all things mobility. If the future of the automobile is electric, then Formula E is the future of racing. The series races all over the world, usually in the heart of major cities like Berlin, Paris, Rome, and New York. Each of the open-wheeled race cars is built around the same chassis and shares a common electric motor and battery pack. But that doesn't mean the teams and drivers are out there in cruise control. A Formula E car can hit a top speed of 174 miles per hour, and races are fiercely competitive. Many drivers have experience in Formula One racing, too. Each race, or e -pre in Formula E speak, lasts 45 minutes plus one extra lap after the lead driver crosses the starting line. Here's one of the coolest parts. During the race, drivers can unlock extra power by driving through sections of the track labeled attack mode. Racing fans also get into the action. Fan Boost allows you to vote online for your favorite driver, with the top five picks getting an added jolt of power for several seconds during each race. Holy crap! Who knew Formula E was basically like live action Mario Kart? Now all we need are some floating turtle shells and banana peels. Many of you know by now that Toyota is hosting the 2020 Olympic Games. Ha! Just kidding, it's Tokyo. The hosts of the Olympic Games are always trying to show off the best their country has to offer. And in 2020, Toyota will help Japan add some high-tech flair to the scene with a subtle but accessible people mover. Also, that is literally what it's called, the accessible people mover. The APM is an electric shuttle being engineered specifically for the 2020 games to help folks get around at the village. Its highly customizable passenger section can also accommodate wheelchairs, scooters, even stretchers in the case of an emergency. Ooh, so it's basically a futuristic hover shuttle that transforms into an open air ambulance. No wonder it's not driverless. If somebody takes a tumble, you definitely want a human driver putting the electric pedal to the metal. Toyota has thought of everything. Now it's off to the infirmary. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Elon Musk makes some hyper bold claims about Hyperloop, the high speed transport system capable of 760 miles per hour top speeds and door to door trips from LA to San Francisco in as little as 35 minutes, allegedly. Well, the good news is that Musk made his pie in the sky vacuum train system open source, meaning everyone is encouraged to develop the tech which boosts the odds it becomes a reality. The latest firm to give it the old college heave-ho is Heart Hyperloop, a collective that includes students who won SpaceX's Hyperloop pod competition. Funded with $5.5 million from a firm called InnoEnergy, among others, the group is working on lane switching technology, a game-changing feature that could theoretically link Hyperloops together across a massive geographical area like Europe. It's still early days for this potential high-speed future transport solution, but hey, if anyone can do it, it's Elon and his worldwide collective of open source acolytes. For more tech news, join us over at Ride.Tech and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. Elon Musk, why can't I talk? I have been spent, this is, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. What are they doing? 10 minutes, Allison, we can do this. My boyfriend brings his kids to this every year. Yes, the dump truck. Go yell at him, old man Jeff. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.